First Thessalonians 2, 4, we've been approved by God to be entrusted with the gospel. So we speak not to please man, but to please God who tests our hearts. Of course, the big idea in this passage is the gospel is God's. It's not ours. It's not an message that the church invented or Paul invented or Peter and the apostles came up with. It's a message that originated in the heart of God. That's why you have passages that we find confusing if we don't understand this, like in Galatians where Paul says that God preached the gospel to Abraham. Yeah, the gospel was preached to Abraham. That doesn't mean Abraham understood everything that we understand. I'm just making the point that that gospel message originated with God. He's the author and the source of the gospel, not the church and not Christian people. And so that comes along with a few implications, a few encouraging and strong implications for us as the church. What does it mean that the gospel is God's? Well, first of all, it means that we are stewards of the message. We are entrusted with the message of the gospel. Uh, it's not ours to innovate or um, shave the edges off or create a new message or alter it in any way, uh, but to make sure that we're being faithful as stewards. That's, that's the thing. It's the Lord's message to us. Uh, it's not us trying to be just witty and creative, though we certainly want to be creative in our, 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 our uh, communication of the gospel. Second thing it means is that God is our primary point of accountability. Uh, it says not to please man. And just by Paul writing that tells us there's going to be a temptation for the church and for Christians just to make other people happy with our message. But we want to make sure we remember that God is our primary point of accountability. The illustration uh, in this passage, it says, we have been approved by God. Uh, that word approved, it was used in a lot of ways in the ancient world, but it was often a reference to coins. They would shave the edges of the coins. Dishonest people would shave the edges of the coins and uh, keep that little shaving. And eventually you shave enough, you can create your own coin. And that word approved means the coin that has been tested and found to be authentic. And so we want to be tested by God and found to be authentic when we stand before him. Finally, we're told that faithfulness to the gospel message pleases the Lord. And that's that last part here, but to please God. And so the message of the gospel, he is the source. God, the, the gospel originates in the heart of God. Uh, and the church is to be faithful in our presentation so that we may please the Lord. May we never forget that faithfulness to the gospel message brings God much glory. And that's what we want to be as God's people, those that bring the Lord glory uh, by being faithful to this gospel message.